decade in beautiful suburban San Diego, California. I'm here with Mr. Griffin, who is a personal trainer, and I've enjoyed working with him for a while now. As many of you know, I'm a senior writer. I've uh, got a few miles under my belt, and I have concerns about staying in condition and things to do to keep the uh, abilities to ride as long. And I had asked Griffin to perhaps share with us a couple, three insights on things to be aware of and to work at. So, Griffin, why don't you give us some benefit of your knowledge there? Sure. Hi, I'm Griffin. As he said, I'm a personal trainer. And the things I pick on when I, up on when I see somebody ride, I see a lot of pressure on the shoulders, I see a lot of pressure on the wrists, I see a lot of arching of the back, maybe a lot of tightness in the legs. So personally what I think to allow yourself to have a longer ride is you want to make sure you don't have any lower back pain, you want to make sure you don't have any shoulder pain, you want to make sure your grip and your wrist are giving out and they're not too tired or cramped up. So there's a series of stretches you can do. And the stretches are primarily going to focus on glutes and hips, your hamstrings, your pecs, and I would say your forearms. So, a few common stretches, you know, touching your toes, keeping your knees straight, don't cheat. Try to reach out as much as you can, you don't need to touch them, you just got to feel that stretch. And you want to hold a stretch for about 30 seconds. That's about the most effective time. 45 seconds and up is a little bit of overkill, under 30 seconds isn't quite effective. Griffin, let me have bounce in a question real quick. So sure. you don't necessarily need to touch your toes. No. I, I can't. But you shouldn't bounce up and down. It should be a, a stretch and hold. Um, no, that's a totally different type of stretch entirely. Okay. What we're trying to do is just lengthen the muscle here in your hamstrings. Because what those muscles are doing when they're tight is they're pulling on your back and your hips. And that's going to cause a lot of discomfort for sitting down for a long period of time. Gotcha. Thanks. So. Yeah, it's really just, um, you don't need to worry about doing the stretch perfectly in terms of the range. You just want to have the form correct, knees straight, reach down as much as you can, try to feel that burn in those hamstrings and a little bit in your lower back. Awesome. Another issue that's going to uh, cause back pain when riding, and just overall a bit of pain, and uh, what would you say, uh, later in life, <laughs> uh, uh, for, for posture is, your, your, your pecs get really tight. And if you're riding on a cycle like this one over here, you're, you're hunched over, you're tight, your shoulders are rounded, and that's going to cause a lot of tightness in your pecs. Then the best thing you can do for that kind of tightness are some doorway stretches, they're called. But you can do them on any kind of flat wall, but you want to have your hand flat here, and then you rotate your chest out this way, and you should be feeling a stretch a little bit in your bicep, a little bit in your anterior deltoid here, and a bit in your right pectoral. It's really going to open everything up. It's good for your shoulders, good for your back, it's good for your chest. You hold that for about 30 seconds. So you can take it to the other side. 30 seconds. You can try to do it up high. Try to angle your chest down a little bit. 30 seconds. You're just you're just going for the stretch in your pec and in the front of your shoulder here. I've been doing that one, ladies and gentlemen. It has helped a lot. And um, a couple things to look out for as well. Um, when you're stretching and it's hurting, uh, you're doing it too much. What you want to go for is comfortably uncomfortable. So it's, oof, I'm uncomfortable, I'm not enjoying this, but I'm not in pain, I can do this for a few minutes. Other warning signs, if you are moving your shoulders and you're feeling clicking, stinging pain, um, or you don't have a full range of motion, you're probably a little bit more predisposed to an injury, and that's when you want to do shoulder workouts. So, when you're riding, how much how much pressure do you think you put on your shoulders when you're riding a motorcycle? You know, uh, you should try and be as relaxed as possible, but it inevitably happens you're on them. So it's, you know, equivalent to a quarter of a push-up maybe, or okay. you know, something like that. And that's being sustained for how long do you think on average oh, when you ride? Oh, uh, hour or two hours. Okay. So so do you ever find that your shoulders are a little stiff sometimes in the morning after a ride mm -hmm. or shoulders the night and the neck a little bit? Yeah. Traps right there. Mm -hmm. Well, so another stretch is trap stretch. I'm sure we've all done this in PE. Pulling your ear down to your right shoulder, switching sides, 30 seconds. But shoulder workouts to do, and they're real easy. All you need is a band, something like this. Not very expensive. You can get them on Amazon, Dick's Sporting Goods, or any local fitness supply store. 
and you hold it here, and you can change the tension based on how wide you pull it apart. What you're trying to do is keep your arms straight and pull your arms to the sides like this. What you're going to do is you're going to feel a little bit of tension in your pecs, you're going to feel it in your shoulder girdle. And what you're trying to do from the motion is pinch your shoulder blades together, and pulling your hands apart like this, and hold it about three seconds, and down. And then pull it apart, three seconds, and down. Stay in control, don't bounce it. Huh? Stay in control. You're not, you're not doing this. Okay. Keeping your arms straight, just like this. You're going to feel quite a bit of tension and burning in your shoulders here. Another one, different variation is up, just like this. You can pull it as far as you want, as much as you can, really. But when your shoulder blades are pinching, that's, I guess that's about as far as you should do. So that's really just the opposite of the first one. Another one is just the fly. And you want to hold these for about three seconds. And lastly, you want to keep your elbows tucked. And what you're doing is you're pulling your hands apart just like this keeping your arms as tucked as you can and pinching it the penny so to speak with your shoulder blades and you're going to feel the workout in your shoulder girdle and that's going to help with shoulder health nice these are these are, are good tips uh if there's interest out there i think i'd like maybe to develop a little conditioning series uh with griffin to help out the senior writers anything else to add uh, I think you mentioned something about hydration was important. Definitely stay hydrated. It's important to be uh, really hydrated, first of all, for heat stroke. Um, if you're out riding in the hot sun and you've got that gear on and that helmet, uh, it's really important to keep your body temperature optimal and to stay hydrated. And also, even just slight dehydration can uh, diminish your cognitive ability. So. Griffin, this is great. I really appreciate it. Uh, I think we, uh, where are we here? That, uh, most of the things we want, Quite a bit of yeah. <laughs> we want to get to this morning. Uh, if you've got uh, questions, uh, shoot them to me. I'll put a link. Do you have? Are you Instagram or Facebook? I've got a Facebook, and I'm working on a website right now. Okay, I'll I'll put a link to Griffin's uh, Facebook. So if you want to, you can go over and follow him. Yeah. I'm hoping this is of use. I, I recognize that a fair amount of people watching my videos, the vlogs, are uh, perhaps senior writers like we are. And Griffin, I'd like to thank you for coming by and, and sharing that with us. I think that's great. I just, yeah. just spent an hour with this guy, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm feeling it. He's, he's working me good. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs>